Hey ho everybody, welcome back. My name is Hunter, this is my carving shed. Uh, we are going to be covering the topic today of carving burrs and their uses. Uh, one of my followers asked if I could do a video on that, so I'm going to do kind of a little series of videos. Um, today we're just going to cover one burr, uh, just because there are so many different uses to each burr, and then I'll have uh, a couple more videos after this. But let's jump into it today. We're gonna to start off with my favorite burr, or kind of one of my go-to burrs I use all the time. Uh, and we'll have some fun. All right, let's go. Okie dokie, so the burr of choice today is an inverted cone burr. Um, this may come under different names depending on the company. Comes in lots of different sizes, but the shape uh, pretty self-explanatory, but just to make it a little more visual, sketch it out for you. Um, just like that, so your cutting edge, your leading cutting edge would be right there. And um, lots of uses, so let's go ahead and get into it. That is the burr we're working with. Like I said, um, there are different sizes um, down to dentist style burrs, which are really small. I do use these with a Dremel. Um, if you have a adjustable chuck you can use any pretty much any size burr there is out there but they go all the way up to some larger cross cutting burrs um, so let's get into it and see how they work I've got a piece of old jawbone that I will be carving normally speaking in my shed I am carving skulls but I'm just gonna be use a spare piece to show some examples all right the first one we're gonna start off with is pretty much the smallest um, this particular one is a number 108 from Dremel. It's a very small uh, crosscut burr. Uh, some of the stuff you can do with it, mainly the main focus, the main reason you're going to be using a crosscut burr is to make nice, crisp, straight lines. Okay, Lines apply to lots of different stuff. Number one could be cross hatching. You've seen me do that before in videos. That is what I use for all of those. Uh, a Generally speaking, a number 108 uh, inverted cone. You can also do feathers. It creates a lot of nice kind of fine detail like the wispy lines of a feather. You've seen me do that as well. So you can use that for that. If you are outlining a design, okay, especially if the design is more, has straight edges, okay, it uh, does not work as well um, with stuff that is, has lots of curves in it, but if, say, you're doing like a star or something like that, you would, you could and would use this to do the outline, start the outline for the design. I also use this, again, I've done a video on this already, for carving out letters. So if you're just doing regular print font, okay, you're obviously gonna have a lot of straight lines, small lines if you're doing letters. So this works exceptionally well for carving out the letters. Now when you are carving lines, you are going to hold your hand piece, uh, whether they be a Dremel, Fordham, uh, air powered, uh, rotary tool at about a 30 degree angle and then the cut is going to simply be like a hope you can see that like a V so that's what you're going for with the cut um, for like a normal line holding it at about a 30 degree angle the nice thing about an inverted cone burr is that because the cutting edge is so aggressive uh, and it's kind of at a point um, it will pull your burr in the direction that you are carving. So generally speaking, you are going to carve in the direction that the burr is rotating. Um, so because it's so aggressive, it will pull your burr along uh, in whatever direction that your bur burr is pointed. So it just kind of lends to creating uh, more straighter lines because uh, you can kind of get a feeling for it and you just kind of 
follow the burr, obviously you're pointing it in the right direction uh, that you want to go, but um, it doesn't want, there's no resistance as far as, you know, wanting to pull to one side or the other. It's trying to go straight, which is amazing and awesome because it creates such nice, clean, straight lines. Now we're going to move up to just a little bit a larger size of an inverted cone burr. And you can pretty much do everything um, that you just saw me do with the smaller burr. But um, you can also do something else, which I'm going to show you here. If you have an area, uh, like a negative space that you want to carve out, and you want the space to have a nice level background, or you're working with a design where um, you traced it out, you cut it out, but there's a lot of little parts, again, where you want the negative space to be flat, you can use an inverted cone burr. So you're going to take the burr and you're just going to kind of plunge it in at an angle and then it works, it seems to work best if you rotate it around in a circular motion and then just kind of eat away the material, keeping your hand steady so that you're kind of keeping a steady plane to where that burr is cutting and just work your way around your design until you have that negative space cut out and then you can still clean it up after the fact um, by just doing again that circular motion around the negative space. Okay, so the next thing that I use uh, these burrs for a lot is for cleaning up uh, the border or the outline of a design. So I have this little thing I did right here. I'll put it up video so you can see. I just kind of um, cut down the area around the little negative space we just carved. Okay, so you can see that there. And generally, um, one option, okay, is to use a ball type burr and you make your outline and this is what your cut is going to look like and then you come back through and you cut down the area so it slopes away from your design and that is what you're in what do you end up with so then if you use an inverted cumber and you do it uh, what perpendicular to the surface um, and go around the edge of your design you will then cut out and make the edges of your design a lot cleaner and a lot more crisp. And then lastly, you can move up to a larger size of an inverted cone burr. And you're not necessarily going to be doing so much lines, um, but it is really helpful and useful for, like I showed earlier, earlier uh, cutting out the negative space um, around or behind a design and getting the area nice and level and flat. So definitely would use um, in, an inverted, a larger uh, cone burr for that. Um, but I mean, there's so many different things you can do with these things really um, you can the smaller inverted comb burr definitely do like a lot of detail type of stuff um, just because you're so such a fine little um, cut that you're making again like hair you know of course I did the um, feather but lots of different options there so I hope this video was helpful to you uh, I will be covering some more burrs um, in the coming videos so I'll just kind of truck down through some of the main ones and uh, if you have not already if you're watching this and you're not a subscriber please consider subscribing so that you do see some of the future videos and uh, you can always take a look back at uh, a bunch of the other carving videos in the past that I have. Alright guys, thank you for watching. I will see you next week.